822. Let's talk a little TV with Gail Pennington. Good morning, Gail Pennington. Gail? Hello. Good morning. Good morning this morning. Sorry, I hit the wrong button there for a second. Uh, Gail Pennington, you, of course, are the TV critic for the hometown newspaper, the St. Louis Post-Dispatch at sdltoday.com. Um, yes, I am. Yes, you are. Uh, let's get right to it. We were talking about drunk history, and we all kind of like this show. It's very, it's very <laughs> weird and funny show. You, you hear the description of a show that is people acting out history as described by drunk people, <laughs> and you think this is never this, this can't be real. This is made up. This is a Saturday Night Live sketch, but it's been on. Um, more than one season on Comedy Central, and it's actually pretty funny. I've actually watched it a couple of times. I've caught it halfway through. It's actually not bad. It's actually pretty funny. It is pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. It begins its new season tonight on Comedy Central. All right. Uh, also, uh, Under the Dome is back. Under the Dome. Under the Dome is this <laughs> kind of show that is just terrible. There are no characters to root for. People do ridiculous things. There's no coherence to the plot which is crazy anyway it involves a dome a big dome a little dome an egg a butterfly you know craziness but you can't stop watching it because you want to know how this dome came down over a tiny town in in the main well you people know it's not real yes right and so it's real and so it's they're just going to make up the reason why well, and I, I've read the book, and the reason why in the book is ridiculous. So uh, <laughs> Stephen King is not known. For, I mean, he's a very exciting and popular writer, and I enjoy his books, but he isn't known for a good ending. Um, why don't you do, you should do an article on how Under the Dome is similar to St. Louis and, and, and call it Under the Dome versus Under the Arch. <laughs> okay. And how Maybe for season three, I'll do this. And how people just can't leave St. Louis, right? That's true. Well, sometimes they do creep out through a hole, but then they always come back. Right, exactly. So there are right. so many similarities between Under the Dome and St. Louis. Uh, Very good point. But there's, but since there's nothing else on, it's good mindless television. Yes, except that last season was supposed to be an event series, a limited run series, and then it was popular enough that they decided, oh, let's do a second season. So people who watched all last season didn't get any conclusion, and they're, they're kind of crum- cranky about it. Do they at least, well, that's because they're stuck under the dome. Um, <laughs> is there, um, are they going to cut a cow in half this year at least? Uh, I suspect not because the dome is already down. So the cow slicing is over. portion of our uh, portion of our entertainment, which was great, <laughs> so is over. No one can get out from this dome, right? No, mm. no a- one can get out. No one can get in. What about internet? Does the internet work through the dome? Um, very limited signals they can get through, like a radio tower. Hmm. Do you know when it's all said and done, cockroaches and radio towers yes. will still survive. So stop bad mouthing radio. I, I think that the radio tower looks probably a lot like the KTRS studio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's move on here. What is this? The bridge. What's that about? The Bridge is an acclaimed series from last season that uh, is also beginning its second season. It's about. An uh, El Paso police detective and a Mexican police detective who work together on crimes that cross over the bridge between Mexico and the United States. So it's very a lot of relevant storylines right. to the real world. Um, very grim. Very grim. And on very F- dark. FX is a very grim, grim station, too. As, as a rule, yes, the programming on FX is the, some of the grimmest. Uh, I started buying Fargo on my iTunes account, and I'm in the middle of the second episode. Should I? Should I? Should I c- continue watching? I think it's the best thing that was on TV in the last five years, except possibly Mad Men. Wow! Well, can't ask for more than that. All right, I will continue to watch. And if you watch the the full season of Fargo, you will have a huge reward at the end. Okay. Uh, what network is it on? It was FX. It was a limited series that started and finished. Yeah, it's finished, but now you can go and buy it. Mm-hmm. So, right, you can buy it. So I'm in the middle of season two. Right. I, I I heard Carney talking about. It. Carney said it's great. You say it's great. So it's great. I'll take both your words Billy for Bob it. Billy Bob Thornton, one of the best performances of his career. Billy Bob Thornton, who is a super fan of the Big Five Fifty KTRS, and he loves the St. Louis Cardinals. And he loves the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, he is good in it. He's got he's he's a good actor. 
Mm-hmm. He's a good actor in a very weird way. Um, all right, so we got a couple of Fourth of July specials coming up. How, are you a fan of fireworks? Um, yeah, but not on TV. Oh, I think they're great on TV. You don't have to get out and get you know bugs. <laughs> exactly. Get I agree, Gail. <laughs> right. Um, I but I've watched fireworks on a black and white television though, so oh. I can only imagine them good. You imagine in a, them in color. Right on a flat screen, sixty-five inch, four K. You know, supersonic, quadraphonic, blau punk, you know, stereo system. I bet you it's pretty I have, good. I have watched the St. Louis, the VP Fair fireworks almost every year on TV. Uh, well, I've, all right. Fair enough. Uh, all right. So what, uh, you have the Capitol Fourth on PBS. That's always a, a, a good, serious one with lots of performers and patriotic speeches. Right. And, that's good. Yeah. Uh, you have the Macy's Fourth of July fireworks. Well, that one's festive because that one's got the Brooklyn Bridge in the background. Right. Uh, but my question is, when is the musical 1776 going to play? I do not know. You will have to search your listings for that. I'll have to wait for my TV guide to come out. I can't sw- I can't swear that it's going to be on this year. What kind of America do we live in where the musical sad? 1776 isn't, isn't being shown? Um, right. When Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson break out in in song <laughs> and a little song and dance, a little soft shoe in Philadelphia, it's great. Do you think it can only be watched on um, the Fourth of July, though? Aren't there other occasions? Yeah, I, I, I guess. Okay, but it's sort I found of... it for you. Oh, okay. It's at twelve thirty p.m. Friday, mm-hmm. which is the Fourth of July on Turner Classic Movies. Turner there Classic Movies. There you go. All you have to do is ask me, and I will find these. You things. are your own. You're your own wow. person. You're our own personal TV guide. I, I like to be there for you. There you in go. Times of need. Gail Pennington, when can we read you? When can we see you? I'll be in the Friday Go section with a preview of the Emmy nominations coming out next week. Ooh. And then Sunday in A and E, I'll preview my trip to L.A., which starts a week from tomorrow. All right. Now I'm not going to be here next Monday. Oh, no. Will it just be Kelly and me? No, uh, and I think Paul Harris is filling in. Oh, okay. Yeah, so be nice to Paul Harris. We'll soldier through. All right, good. Gail, be good. Bye. Bye, Gail. uh, Gail Pennington, St. Louis Post-Dispatch TV critic, and she's been our gal for years now, Uh, part of our partnership with The Post, stltoday.com. By the way, you can watch this very show and watch this very segment at stltoday.com slash McGraw, and if you ever get her to Skype in, she doesn't want to put her face on. It's like a... Has she ever Skyped in? No, her and Deb don't like to Skype in because they have to put their face on in the morning. It's I like can a, understand. It's she like an episode put... of the Jetsons. <laughs> right. She can just put sunglasses on and then... Do you remember when Judith didn't want to take the uh, camera TV or the camera call because... And she had to put her face on? Remember I don't that? remember that one. And I've watched there you go. a lot of them. 8.30, Big 550.